so hey guys welcome back to my channel i'm definitely back with another brand new video so if you are not subscribed honey what are you doing girl you need to subscribe because you must like it because you tuned in so anyway um this is me just wiping my client's face using a wet wipe just to make sure she doesn't have any grease or any product on her face um then i went in with a sharpener i was sharpening the eye pencil i think this was in the shade number three or 18. no actually i'm pretty sure it was number 18 because three was kind of light for her face so um this was immediately after i did her brows i used the razor blade method and i did her brows then i went in with a spoolie um combed them out then filled them in then as you can see that is me just um perfecting her brows after i fill them in uh, i use concealer i think i used three shades of concealer i used fawn um medium beige and toffee yeah all illegal pro concealers because period those are, those are like the best concealers to use for me they do work for me really well so i used um on the top part of her eyebrow i think i used foundation but on the lower part of her eyebrow i used fawn toffee and pure oh, and is it pure or medium beige i think it's pure beige i used that on the tail ends of her brow just to make her brows look more defined i always use a lighter concealer on the tail end of the brows that's the, that, that's just um a new technique i've learned so yeah yeah period poo um so eyebrows do take me a little bit of a longer time because you know um they're just not just you you need to perfect the eyebrows for me that's why i think i take the most amount of time on eyebrows because that, that's the first thing you see when you see someone so i was really taking my time girl i was really taking my time and that spoolie was amazing and i cannot believe that spoolie was it's a double ended spoolie, first of all. So we, we better get into it. So yeah. Um it has like the side where you brush and it has like a flat side where you can actually use to um curve out your eyebrows. So boom, I went in with girl, tell me why. Tell me why I accidentally used lip gloss instead. That's why we were laughing. I used lip gloss instead of primer on her face. So I I, I had to go in. Oh, and fast moisturize her face. I use Aramis as per usual, as per usual. Um, so I went in with that. Um, so I can have a barrier between her face and her, the actual makeup. Then I went in with the primer. She had primer. So yeah. Did I use primer, girl? Oh yeah, that's the primer. That, that was what I was using. So I went in with that. Then um, put that on all over her face. Like year 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 massage that into her face being very gentle you don't want to rub too hard because this is your client like come on now so i wiped my hands with a wet wipe after that then we were basically kicking and talking a lot like we're friends so yeah so i also just use um i use a, a, a some concealer and a beauty sponge then what did I do next? Um, oh, I used her beauty sponge to like blend out the concealer on her eyes. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Just dabbing that into her skin. Um, it has been long since I did a voiceover. I don't know how this sounds, but I am not deleting this first take. Because no. Um, then what? Oh, then I set that concealer with um, some pressed powder because initially I had not planned I had not planned to do eyeshadow on, I had not planned to do eyeshadow on her so I went in first and I set her concealer with some pressed powder I'm sorry if my voice sounds weird I really do have a cool right now then boom I decided let's go all the way in so I took my any lady palette then I put some um some color on her crease her outer crease the outer v i was really going for a nude neutral kind of look like i was not trying to i was not trying to do too much because 
I feel like I'm not yet perfected. I should on other people. Hence this practice thing and you know. So yeah, but I think this turned out pretty good. Like the end result, I was really obsessed. So I put, um, I think it was a brown shade uh, on her outer crease. Then I blended it out with another color. Then I used, um, I think it was a matte white or a matte cream. Creamish color or an ivory color. Yeah, on her actual crease so boom this is me just going in with eyeliner and this eyeliner is so bomb like you guys have no idea and literally this eyeliner cost a hundred bob and when i tell you don't sleep on this eyeliners for the boy like um tools i would actually tools i would actually advise you to get them in the boys or your local beauty supply store but like i think like for the bigger things like foundation and power powders those ones you can get original but eyeliners i don't mind the the knockoffs like i really don't mind but eventually i'm gonna be using the original ones like don't play with me don't play with me so um i did a wing liner on her because i also wanted to put some lashes on her so yeah that is me just perfecting the wing and yeah So as we are waiting for that to dry, uh, that is me again, like following up the liner on her actual lashes because I I, I wanted to have a barrier between I didn't I didn't want to have that weird gap between the lashes and um, her actual lashes and the faulties. So also I went in with Huda Beauty, um, what is it called, um, Huda Beauty Lash Glue. So I was putting some glue on the lashes as you can see. While I'm waiting for the lashes to get tacky, I went in and used foundation. I think this was Milani foundation in her shade. I don't remember the shade number, but yeah, I put that on her face. Then I um, used my foundation brush and just blended that in to the gods to the tea because one thing about me i'm gonna blend 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 and blend so that, that that's what you see me doing using this flat foundation brush which is also a dupe which is also amazing i think this brush was going for 200 or 150. so yeah and it's a morphe knockoff and it really just get the jobs it really just get the job done why can't i talk go it gets the job done so um i think i also use i use put mascara on her on her lashes yeah so as they can dry as they were drying um i also went in with a beauty blender just for extra blending just for extra perfection it was a damp beauty blender so i went in with that just to make sure i don't have any creasing or any harsh lines uh, who who Oh, then, okay, the guy, the guy that looked like he was like, hey, what's up, what's, what's going on? So, yeah, so this is me basically putting the lashes on her. This was, this were not like too dramatic. They were a bit on the subtle side. So, yeah, I put the lashes on her and I was actually asking her, do you feel comfortable? Are they too heavy? Because that, that's what I always with my clients because I want to make sure you're actually feeling comfortable. So, boom, now we're heading on to the highlights. I think, um, I did, no, no, I think, I actually know, I used um, Tofi. So, I'm putting that on her under eye, the bridge of her nose, her chin, um, did I do her forehead? I don't think so. I did not put concealer on her forehead. This was, um, the shade Tofi. So I just like, and this is a tip and a trick I've learned over time. I leave it there to set for a one, two minutes. Then I go in with my damp. Oh, now this is it. This, this is another trick right here. So I also used pure beige. In the inner parts i don't know how to explain it but i wanted her highlights to really pop so i used two concealers i used pure beige and i used toffee i used pure beige in the middle of the highlight then i added in toffee 
on the outer part so i'm waiting for it to get hacky obviously and obviously the fan was on so boom uh waiting for it to get hacky what was i doing over there now this is the setting powder so after waiting for it to get hacky also i i, I was using the, i was using the same sponge so i dumped the sponge then i went in and blended it out again yeah so blending blending using tapping motions not wiping it off away just dabbing in it into her skin and really trying to make sure that there are no like harsh lines there are no creases under her eyes because the under eye is really sensitive so you have to be extra careful honey so boom blending 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 her that Blending it into her skin and making sure it's melted and there are no harsh lines. Yeah, we were talking a lot, like, girl. Also, we're listening to a podcast. I think that's why we're, we're really talking a lot. We were, we, were, we were listening to TMI, the YouTube version. So, yeah. So, I went in with a setting powder. I don't remember the name of the setting powder, but I used a different brush. Then I went in ahead to bake. So I put the product underneath her eyes, basically all the areas where I had put concealer. Yeah, so yeah, that is just what I'm doing. Putting some loose setting powder on the under eye, on the bridge of her nose, on her chin. Then this is me just using the tweezers to make sure her lashes are like perfect and they're not, they're seamless basically. So yeah so i also put some i use some like golden eyeshadow um from my any lady palette um and i went in and put that in the inner corner of her eye just to make her eyes pop my camera cut off i had no storage but this is the final look and i am i am completely stoked i am obsessed like let's get into it like i really did the thing like look at her she looks absolutely stunning she was stunning before i mean she has amazing skin but girl tell me i did not slay this like don't, don't try me so yeah she looks amazing and i love this lipstick shade on her like everything just looks so perfect like book me period book me period yeah, so this is her doing a thing. I was asking her to pose. And I think she looks absolutely stunning. Like, yeah, thank you, girl, for coming. And thank you for watching this video. And if you're not subscribed already, what are you doing? Please make sure you are subscribed. And stay tuned for more face bits. Because Adna come to play with y'all. Okay, so anyway, bye.